I didn't even notice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm I've been bad at that. We're newbies um, to blab, so that's yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, we're recording now. Let me tell Little Bird too, so other people can join in if they would like to. Welcome, everybody. This is a nice group for our pretty spontaneous hangout here. So Definitely. Excited. Okay. Okay. So, should I, do you want me to dig in with? one of our planner versions here yeah let's dig in okay, okay. and is that a ashley or sarah who's on sunshine sticker co ashley ashley hey ashley um, we need to give ashley and um ashley Manda and sarah Gio a huge shout out they um designed these custom tabs for us so your planners this year will come with this sheet um, all ready to go so you can add whatever tabs you want there's 18 of them so you can do every month and you know six other awesome business sections and I'm so in love with these little be brilliant stickers they're like that's so cute so um, cute yeah and they actually if you go to sunshinestickerco.com they have they've created a bunch of other adorable stickers that pair really, really well with the planner. So if you're, you know, planner sticker obsessed, you can grab more of those. Yeah. And it's so fun because they're part of our Brilliant Business Moms community, which I feel like it's been so fun to work with a couple of different women from the Brilliant Business Moms community in order to make this planner happen. It's been awesome. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of that, a quick shout out too to Sarah Gilcher of Perennial Planner. I mean, she, I think it was kind of a crazy story how the planner really came about is we knew we wanted to do one, but um, Sarah reached out to us and said, hey, I design planning printables. I'd love to help you guys with this. And man, we had no idea what uh, secret weapon she would be. So she's awesome. Tell me about um, it. <laughs> yeah. So like she helped with this. I mean, we had a vision for everything, but she, I mean, we couldn't have made it happen without her. So absolutely. Yeah. And in both of those ladies, perennial planner and sunshine sticker co you can find them on Etsy. So yeah. we love to support other small mm -hmm. businesses, especially women, small businesses. So if if you're on Etsy, check them out. Oh, there good idea. Oh, right. Great. She got, and then Ashley put in hers, the other website link. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So uh, we're going to kind of do show and tell with our planners. And then if you guys have questions along the way, you're curious about anything at all, um, just throw them at us. We are, we love talking about our brilliant business planner. So we're happy to answer any questions you have. <laughs> Gianna is so funny, isn't she? Gianna cracks me up all the time. <laughs> we're talking about that in the group. Oh, we love our community. You guys are so much fun. Um, okay. <laughs> so here is our 2016 version. And Sarah's got hers um, w without a cover. She's got a version from the printer. But um, she was kind enough to send the first fresh copies from the press to me so I could do the photos. Um, so here it is. And I think the nice thing is, I mean, it's definitely thicker than last year, but it's not crazy heavy and unmanageable. I mean, it's got the same weekly layout to get you through the whole year. It's got more business pages, but it's not, it's, it's totally portable still, which I like. And some of the big yearly planners are not quite so portable. Um, okay, I'm having trouble. I feel like I need to be back further <laughs> to really show it off. So it is a soft cover still, but if, if you are looking for a hard cover option, I will be telling you about that in a minute, about a way that you can make it hard cover. So I'm trying to think of which, well, one of my favorite things is our goal setting pages in the beginning. And if you've been following along with our little video series, um, you'll notice that I linked to a few of these pages because I, I just love them so much for figuring out what I really want to get done each year. So it kind of just gets you started on the right track, whatever your big goal is. Let's break it down. Let's brainstorm. 
I don't want to go through every page, but I love it so much. <laughs> hey, Sarah. So Sarah, the other half of Sunshine Sticker Co. is on. Oh, great. Yeah. Hello. And so here's our monthly spread. And that was one thing. This is new to the planner this year. Before, we just had the weekly layout, which we still have. But a lot of you had requested a monthly spread as well. So we said, all right, let's do it. And it is. It's really It's pretty. It's nice. There's some room for notes as well. Plenty of space. <laughs> And then, oh, go ahead, there. I was going to just maybe talk about, like, the the to-do list section next. Yeah, go ahead. Okay? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so then after each monthly spread, we head into the weekly to-do list and the time blocking. So I'm going to hold this up and stop talking for a second. So you can see. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Oh, yeah, go that way. There you go. The to-do list. Yeah, perfect. Okay. <laughs> so we've, desi we've divided the to-do list between personal and business because if you guys are anything like me, I want all of my to-dos in one place. So I'm not looking in two different places to figure out what I need to do with the kids, with the house, with just different things on my personal agenda. And I want to be able to see that right alongside what I'm trying to work on for the business that week. And this is every week that you get a yeah. full page to write your to-dos. So I love this because if you're anything like me, you don't have 40 hours a week of dedicated alone time to work on your business. You're juggling back and forth between your business and your personal life. So for me, like this, this page just gets covered and scribbled on and I love it. So then each week, then we have your week mapped out. And we kind of did a time blocking format because at least for me, it helps if I have an idea. Okay, my mornings are for the business because Sullivan is at preschool. My afternoons are sometimes business and sometimes housework. And my evenings are shot because the kids have all sorts of activities. So it helps me to have my week mapped out just loosely by time so you can kind of see on the side the hours are loosely mapped out but you don't have to write exactly in the square you can i i free form this a lot too but to have the option to time block my schedule a little bit i i find is very helpful i use that quite a lot so anything else to add, Bethann, about the weekly pages or the to-do list? Um, no, you mostly covered it. Yeah, and I have to say Sarah is the one who came up with this idea. She used to use an old, like, ratty notebook <laughs> to do her to-do list. But I remember seeing it one time when we were working together and thinking, oh, like, that is, that's really smart. Um, and then the other fun thing, too, is you could – Let's say you were super ambitious with your to-do list one week and you only got half of it done and so you know pretty much the rest of the list is going to be for next week. Instead of rewriting the list, you could always tear out that page in your planner and then it will match up with your following week. So that's kind of nice too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, and I mean, we both just love the whole time blocking thing because like Sarah said, I mean, it's not like we're militant about it, but it lets us write in podcast appointments. It lets me write in doctor's things for Holden. Any events can go right in there and I know what time they're happening. And then for everything else, it lets um, me take that to-do list and transfer it over into nice little sections. Like, okay, during this hour, here's my list. So yeah, it's, it's really, it's great. It's definitely the way our brains work and yeah it's the way my yeah. brain thinks yeah absolutely mm -hmm. and I know we've heard from quite a few of you as well that you're like oh I love I love that list that's how that's how my brain works that's how I yeah divide up my time and get everything done mm -hmm. um, okay so then we move on and all of your weekly planning pages takes up a good portion there um, something else fun, though, that we added this year is a companion PDF. So, um, you know, a few of you had run out of a few pages that you used all the time, like the giveaways page, if you host giveaways all the time, or maybe guest posts that, and you're pitching guest posts all the time. So we have a companion PDF for everyone who buys a planner this year. So you can print off those extra sheets um, as you need them. So that's fun. Yeah, so you'll get that PDF yeah. immediately. Mm -hmm. the, the planner 
will be mailed to you. And right now it looks like we'll be shipping beginning November 15th. And so you will get the planner delivered in your mailbox at uh, in November at a later date, but you'll get that companion PDF right away. Yep, absolutely. So that's the other fun thing too with, you know, with most planners for 2016, you're like, oh, I guess I could buy now, but I'm not going to use it until January 1st. But with ours, all of the business planning pages, you can start using them right away. And they're pretty helpful for, you know, things like marketing your Etsy shop for the holidays. We have a product marketing plan pages in there. We have advertising decision matrix in there. So you can start using those actually today because you'll see them in the companion PDF. So that's pretty fun. Um, let's see, let's go through a few other features. Oh, another thing I wanted to note though, we have a fun bonus for anyone who buys today. So you'll get um, two extra PDFs. It's actually four different planning pages. Two of them are Pinterest planning pages. So you can um, track when you posted and to what board you posted your different um, pins. And then another one that lets you strategize for your group boards and figure out, I know for me, sometimes it's crazy to figure out, well, how often can I post to this group board? You know, you don't want to get kicked off, but then for other group boards, you can post 12 times a day. So it lets you write all that down and kind of come up with your, your plan of attack. And then we also have two Instagram Instagram planning sheets, which are super fun. So one of those functions is like your Instagram editorial calendar. So you can plan your posts. And not only that, you can then measure and track your results and kind of figure out which posts are resonating the most with your audience. Um, and then the other part is Instagram marketing. So you can track, let's say your strategy is liking a bunch of photos. So you can track which hashtags you're using or which, which users you're kind of targeting, what actions you took, and then come back the next day and see how many followers did I gain as a result of that that effort so they're really super great helpful sheets and those are your free bonus um, for all of you who buy the planner today um, the question is from Jenny at Jenny Java are those bonuses just for PDF or physical planner as well um, we we basically only sell a physical planner the the pdf that we were talking about earlier is just the extra like non-dated sheets the ones that you might possibly need more of that come automatically with your physical planner purchase and then these bonuses are just for today only so the instagram and the pinterest bonus pages are are just today and i know i use the bethann's the one who designed the pinterest pages and the instagram and I use the Pinterest pages all the time when I'm scheduling out our our posts to go to the different group boards because I don't want to anger anybody like Beth Ann yeah. was saying. True. <laughs> and it's really heartbreaking. Like if you get kicked off a big board that was really helpful to you and helping your content to spread, it's like you don't oh, it's so sad. So yeah, the but yeah, I don't I do not do Pinterest until I have those sheets in front of me where I've scheduled out all the boards and then use it in conjunction with viral tags. So I don't sit down to do it without it pretty much. Yeah. So. And those um, those PDFs that you'll get um, when you purchase today, they go along with the same style as the planner. So they'll fit right in. So if you printed them out and you wanted to clip them onto your planner or something like that, the, the style all goes together, which is fun. So moving along in the yeah. planner, the editorial calendar is what comes after your, your whole year. Um, so we get through with the monthly calendar, your weekly to do, your weekly schedule, the time block. And then we come to the editorial calendar it is right here. So you have a page for every month. And I personally love this because especially now that we've added blabs and we sometimes do bonus episodes, it's been really helping me keep track of what our plan is for what we're posting for the next several weeks in advance. And also the checklist at the top, I don't know if you can see it, but to make sure that you've done the important steps of, of uh, checking your SEO and of posting it to your various social media sites. So you've done the work 
of creating great content. And then the checklist reminds you on your editorial calendar to, to finish it out, to, to schedule it on social media and to, to market that post. Exactly. Um, I just found Gianna. That's so funny. Oh, here's the other good news too, is I think the tabs are really going to help. So to remind you guys of all the great business planning sheets that are at the back of your planner. Now that you have the tabs, um, you can, you won't forget that you have a great editorial calendar, that you have a great guest post planner. And Sarah, we also had someone say that she purchased the, the spiral bound, but she would like the unpunched instead. So, okay, awesome. Yes, so we can do that. If you want to just send us an email with mm -hmm. your name, Ange, 1E0251, and then, yeah, we will switch that out for you, no problem. It's the same price and same shipping and all that. So it's, yeah, that's not a problem at all. That was one of the tricky things was figuring out on the page where to show everyone the different options that we had. So we list all the options at the bottom, but then kind of throughout the landing page, we talk about them at different points so right so if you want to see all the options available spiral bound a uh, stack of loose paper that you can add to your own binder or to what's it called Bethany? the circo system yeah circa like circa. yeah so a disc based system where you can like literally just pull things you can like rip whole things off like that and punch okay. them back in yeah so that all the options are at the very bottom of the landing page if that helps to for you to see it all laid out clearly yes mm -hmm. so. and i have yeah and we've got multiple photos of the different options as well yes different options are cool yay we're so glad you like that and i'm i'm really curious to see with our planner mm -hmm. sales how things i mean so far definitely we've had way more spiral bound sales but um or I shouldn't say way more but um but i'll be curious to see over the next few months how things shape out and what everybody prefers right mm -hmm. oh um hey gianna she, gianna says oh my word this is going to help the fftc great give back challenge goodness you girls are brilliant do you mean is there a certain part of it or you just mean the planner in general gianna Hey all, welcome. We have a few new faces here. That's fun. Does the disbound option fold over on itself? Okay, so that's a great question. Let me try. And so, um, and just so you know, Jessica Lynn at Love Lila Ann, the way it'll come to you is free form unpunched. So whether you want it in a binder, three hole punched, or whether you want it disbound, the discs and the punching of it would be up to you to do but i have a link to the resources i use to get mine disbound but yeah it'll come just as a stack and that's because we didn't you know some of you want a binder somewhat disc based so that was we couldn't do all three punched you know what i mean all three punched options but that at least gives you the freedom to do whatever you'd like and yeah let me show you so this one it does i'm guessing i think it might depend on the width of your discs i personally think these that i ordered were maybe a little too big I think they are um, like a 1.5 inch. And I think you could probably get away with like a three quarter inch maybe, or at least a one inch. But yeah, this easily folds over onto itself, which is nice. Hey, Katie did, thanks for the, the love there. <laughs> They're liking the fold over. So yeah, so that, I mean, it folds over no problem. And then the other thing that I did is, with this one is I ordered the a see-through cover. So that way, because I'm pretty rough on my stuff, Sarah takes care of her stuff so much better. Like, Sarah leaves her planner in a designated spot at her house. Hers stays beautiful. Hey, Julie. Oh, wait, which which one, one are you, though? Are you Beth and Julie or are you me? <laughs> Answer. Oh, uh -huh, same here. She's oh, yeah. Uh -huh, same here. Oh, no, she's, she's Beth, Beth Ann. Ann. But I thought your younger sister was Beth Ann too. So maybe she, <laughs> you both have mixed some personalities Ann. here. Yeah. Yeah. So that'll be definitely help Beth Ann out. Yeah. To, she purchased that system and put her loose leaf papers in that. So it'll help her to keep her so planner in better shape. Yeah. Whereas I'm going to be definitely fine with the spiral bound because I'm, I just keep mine on my kitchen counter, which is my office pretty much the kitchen table, the kitchen counter. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mine stays in fine shape. So. Yeah. And I will say too, I am pretty impressed. Like with our soft cover portable planner, I mean, I shove our 2015 version, I shove it in my purse all the time and it still looks really pretty. It just, you know, it gets a little bit dinged up. But so now it won't. My only thing with this is, and I love that it's see through so you can still see our gorgeous cover. You don't have to cover that up. But, um, but it does, this cover, it's like a teensy bit cloudy. I wish it was with a little bit more crystal clear to show how gorgeous our planner is. Um, oh, yeah, I like this comment from Jesse. I'm a squirrely sister. My planner ends up all over. Too funny. Squirrely sister, I like that. <laughs> and then Gianna says, I want to be Sarah. I know that's true. Don't we all wish we were a little bit more, like, sane and level-headed? And together with our papers, for sure. That's boring. I'm the boring one. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Not boring. I own boring. I own it. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah. Gianna said she saw me Google when she wrote the comment, even though what you were saying, Bethann, wasn't yeah. related. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> okay. So moving along, should we uh, yeah, let's show a couple more pages? Okay. Sure. Next, we come to our guest post planner. So you can write down who your, we call it your top targets, who you're going to contact to guest post, the ideas that you pitched to them, when you contacted them, the first contact, second contact, and then if they approve you, you can write when you're featured, and then make sure, once again, the check mark so that you can make sure that you're promoting that guest post that you do after all that hard work yeah exactly and this i mean well i use this exact page to go guest post on abby's site at just a girl on her blog and man that guest post was awesome for us i mean we got a lot of new subscribers and so and every time we guest post i mean when we guest posted on the etsy blog mm -hmm. it always grows our business so guest posting has been awesome for us and now just stick your little tab on there so you won't forget about it and i think honestly one of my favorite things is just to write down the date when you first pitch because it's really easy to forget and then a few weeks go by and you really should have sent a little reminder because you know those Oftentimes those bloggers are super busy and so they may have just missed your first email. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We did not, a uh, question from Angela BM, Angela B. McLeod. Am I getting that right, Angela? I hope. Okay. Um, her question is, did you guys include a password hint page this year? We did not include that, although there are lots of plain notes pages included this year as there were last year. I personally, maybe it's just the way we personally do things. I use LastPass for my passwords, so maybe it just didn't occur to us, but there's blank pages, but no password hint page in particular. We could maybe, I could maybe whip up something and put it as a single thing in the Etsy shop. But yeah, we didn't, I think my thing too is I really don't want you guys carrying around your planner everywhere and having all your passwords in it. Like that kind of freaks me out a little bit. So I don't well, know if it's, I mean, yeah, each their it's, own. yeah, it's up to you guys, of course. Um, oh, okay. she just does hints, not the entire password. Okay. Awesome, okay, okay. Angela. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. That's mm -hmm. a good idea. Hmm. Maybe next year. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so bad um the next page we have blog sponsors so if you're a blogger that works with different sponsors or does giveaways with etsy sellers things like that and again um i like this too because it has the payment column because that's one thing i've heard before is sometimes trouble getting paid for your sponsored posts or things like that so you want to make sure you're keeping track of all of that definitely then we move on to uh, the giveaways page. So if you are hosting a giveaway or even just participating in maybe a group giveaway, we'll be participating in a group giveaway at the beginning of December. So this lets you track all of the pertinent information related to that giveaway so that you don't lose track of what's going on. But it also has a spot for you to track your followers at the beginning of the giveaway and your followers at the end 
on various social media channels, email, et cetera. Because obviously the whole point of a giveaway often is to drive traffic, followers, et cetera. So you can kind of get a, a good idea. Was this giveaway worth it? Was it not worth it? And kind of evaluate for next time. Yeah, I love that too, because I mean, the only way to know how to effectively <laughs> grow your business is going to be, you have to track, you have to track the results of what you're doing. So yeah. Constant evaluation of yeah. strategies. Did they work or did they not work? Yeah, exactly. Um, the next pages we have here is, well, oh, really, yeah, uh, really quickly, um, Gianna is asking who came up with the tab idea? Beth Ann. <laughs> and that will help a lot. Great. How many do you get? You get one sheet, which has 18 tabs on it, plus a couple uh, cute little stickers. So, okay, go ahead, Beth Ann. Yeah, it looks like this. So if you count, there's 18. <laughs> so you can put the tabs wherever you want in your plan or whatever makes the most sense to you. That's why we did it that way so that you could customize it more. Because mm -hmm. there's, yeah, there's quite a few little planning sheets and some of them yeah are going to be more important to you than others and yes gianna yeah you can write on the the tabs. yeah so that's yeah that's the basic idea would be you know write on this white side so write on both sides and like flip your paper around when you do it and then you just take it you'll stick it on the edge of your paper and it folds in half like this so it'll stick out I should have stuck a bunch more on my planner, but you guys, I'm like waiting for a friend who has pretty writing to like do mine because <laughs> my tabs don't, it's like I mess up how they're so pretty. They're so cute. So it'll look like this kind of sticking out your planner in all the different colors. And, and the cover, the cover this year goes a little bit beyond the pages for another reason, which we'll get to later at the very end. But so the cover will cover your tabs so that they won't get as damaged. So they'll be, yeah. they'll have some protection from the cover. Yeah, let me see if I can show that real Jesse quick. Jesse says we've thought of everything. We tried, uh -huh. I'm sure we forgot something, but we really worked hard on this. So I yeah. hope we have. Um, and Tokyo Blossom says so she loves, oh, Julie, loves how it's customizable. So many awesome. times. Hmm. That's true, Julie, too, about, you know, <coughs> tabs being in a place that doesn't make sense for you. So, yeah. And then next is our monthly stats. So, of course, again, this is this is important for growing. And I feel like sometimes for me, I like don't I don't do a good job of recording them because maybe I know, oh, we didn't do a big push for email subscribers this month. And I know <laughs> I'm not going to be super happy with the results for that month. <laughs> but if I if I help like this year, I'm tabbing this page up and I'm holding myself accountable so I can see which months did we really grow on a certain platform and which months didn't we and again it goes back to you know a lot of times where you're investing your time is where it's going to expand so we could mm -hmm. see oh well we grew on pinterest by this amount because we really invested a lot of time there this month so mm -hmm. yeah yeah i love tracking the monthly stats even if i'm disappointed by the numbers <laughs> Yeah, I like Sarah, to know. Sarah is our stats tracker. She's always checking like our podcast downloads and a website visitors. And I'm kind of like, oh, I don't want to know. I don't want to because I, I always set expectations that are, you know, way up way here. too outrageous. <laughs> That's true. And yeah, Maggie, Maggie brings up a good point. Too. She says, yes. Plus, sometimes you see unexpected growth and you won't know if you don't track. That's true. So I could get some fun surprises. Very good, Maggie. Fun surprises, Bethany. Be optimistic. <laughs> oh, and look at this goal whisperer. Which, by the way, hi. I don't. I don't recognize your handle. So, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Um, she said, "What you track expands." That's probably true too, because it's like the same way with that my Instagram, like the Instagram marketing page. When I'm tracking that and making a note and like being focused on it, then that's what grows. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You can notice things and then react if you're tracking. So very good point, Goal Whisperer. I bet you're good at goal setting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jesse has a question. I don't know if you want to take this one, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you decide what to track first? I feel overwhelmed just listening. Oh, don't be overwhelmed. Aww. Okay, so 
let me go back. So on, on the monthly stats, like we, we outlined what you could possibly track. So things like page views, shop views, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter. I don't know. I, I don't find, I just track everything at the end of the month. I just go through all the channels and I write down the numbers and I compare them to last month. And for me, I guess it's reassuring to kind of know where we stand more than overwhelming, but maybe that's just my personality too. So I I don't know. Anybody yeah, else? I think it might depend. Or maybe you want to just pick one. Like if you are yeah. like, okay, if you're like, I really want to see my shop views increase this month. And that's going to be my focus is driving traffic to my shop. Then only track that. And that's great. Or, you know, you only sure. want to focus on Instagram only track that. So yeah, use it, use it for the way that it works for you. And definitely. Yeah. Because everybody does think differently and react differently. I, I mean, Bethy and I, we always <laughs> think differently and react differently. We're discovering oh, yeah. more and more every day. I so we do what do works for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we totally do. Which, okay. By the way, I know this is random aside. Why does my face look like orange? <laughs> you look very tan and I look very washed out. I don't understand. I you go tanning. Anyway. We're at the beach. Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe it is like the La Jolla sun is. I forget that we still have sunshine here. Yeah, you and it's do. not. There's no self tanner and I haven't been to the beach in a while. So I have no idea. Or maybe it's just the wrong shade of makeup today. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I think my, my arms look the same. So yeah. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. that's. That's a random aside, just so you all know. I don't go tanning, <laughs> and I don't use self tanner either. Um, okay, but if you do, we're fine with that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know why I would care. Oh, oh, do you want me to do the next one? Yeah, you do. Okay. That one. The next one is our project planner, which this is a brand new sheet to the 2016 planner. We have, I think, two of them in here. No, no, no. Oh, we have four of them. We have four of them in there because we knew that you all are busy bees and you do a lot of projects. And again, you'll have <laughs> you'll have the companion PDFs. You can print off as many as you want. And I love this one because this is honestly for any woman on the planet pretty much because we all have projects and things that we're working on. So, you know, I plan to use this for I'm I'm actually helping Holden's Elementary School Foundation to drum up more sales for their or more registrations for this race that they're doing around Thanksgiving. So I'm going to do a little project planner for that to keep track of like what I'm doing, when things are due. So it's really fun. It lets you, you know, track your materials, whether it's like a big blog project or maybe it's, um, for example, Julie, when she was doing her brand new line of products on Etsy, this would be a great place to kind of write down. Here's my mission and goals. Here's the different materials I need to gather. And here are the tasks that I need to do and the date that um, I'm going to set a due date. And then, of course, we all love those check boxes <laughs> to say when we're done with something, it feels so great, right? So, yeah, so there's our lovely little project planner for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be using that for business and personal. Yeah. Okay, uh, Gianna has a question. Do we have a section for planning social media? I think our, our planning social media is kind of like spread throughout the planner. For instance, like on the editorial calendar, you've got your spaces to make sure you put your posts on the, the various channels. But you could also use that editorial calendar to map out, okay, your your Facebook posts or or other things on the same line as well. And like the guest post planner has a spot to make sure that you are promoting there as well. So it's kind of spread out, but no, no page in particular yeah. for planning social media. But that could be something we add to the Etsy shop as yeah. an extra page. I think yeah, that exactly. might be a good idea. That's a good idea. Cause, and in a lot of ways, I mean, we've kind of done that for Pinterest with the bonus PDF and we've done that for Instagram with the bonus PDF, but we could totally come up with something that would be for Facebook and mm -hmm. for Twitter that helps you guys. Yeah. Plan out your editorial calendar for all of those things. That would be awesome. 
have to run. Can I? Yes, Nito Keen, you can watch this on replay later. So it'll be blab.im slash brilliantbizmom, and we'll have it on our YouTube channel too. Maybe we'll put it up on our website. We'll have to see. But yeah, so you will be able to just see the replay along with all of our other ones right there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, next, we move on to new product planner. So it's two pages. And along the left-hand side, we have a spot for various holidays and then product ideas, com complete by date, and then like your different shows and promotions you have planned. The reason why we did it this way is we feel like, especially for Etsy sellers, a lot of your products are often tied to a holiday. So we wanted you to have the holidays right there so that you could use that to inform what new products that you're going to be creating at what time of year. Or if you've got a show planned or a promotion planned, uh, an online promotion in Instagram, something or other, you can also make sure you're creating that new product well in advance of, of something you already have planned and going on to showcase your products. So that's next on the list. Hmm. Jesse says, yes, and I've completely missed the holiday mark this year. And it's aw. And don't be discouraged. I mean, that's it happens. It's, yeah. it, it comes up so quickly. I mean, even just getting this planner ready for 2016, Bethann and I were like, la di da, end of <laughs> summer, not even we're thinking fine. yet yeah. about the 2016 planner. When all of a sudden we were like, Oh my goodness, it's mid-September, <laughs> like we've like, got to do this yeah. planner now. It yeah. totally snuck up on us. Mm -hmm. But if we were using our new product planner sheet, maybe it wouldn't have. Yeah, <laughs> it's true, yeah. And it is nice, like, and Julie said too, she needs that along with beating up my planner. I lose the papers I write the ideas on, which is so true. Like when you have a product idea, now, you can just have this as right. one of your tabs and flip right to that tab and write it in the right spot. And right. it'll also let you kind of organize and prioritize, okay, well, which products should I be working on first and mm -hmm. which ones are for spring and things like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, because so if you have cool. a product that's appropriate for Christmas and, um, and an idea for Easter, I don't know, it could help you to know. And, and you should know anyway, but this is a stupid example. You should know to work on the Christmas one first if it's September rather than the Easter one. But I don't know. I, that's a easy example. But yeah, you know, there might be prioritize. Yeah. yeah. Or there, yeah. yeah. More <laughs> nuanced products. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, well, is this more <laughs> Valentine's or springy or yeah. Who knows? And Angie says, I love it. You need the planner to plan the planner. <laughs> It's so true. Yeah, actually, we did. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, oh my Definitely. god, yeah, you should see all the ways I like the planner for our product marketing plan for the planner. It's hilarious. I'm literally using the planner to plan out how I'm going to market the planner, but it's awesome, <laughs> it's so helpful. Um, okay, and then Angie also asked, let's see. I may have missed this, that tabs come with it. Yes, this comes with it. So you'll get your sheet of the 18 tabs, fully customizable, customizable, put them where you want, and the adorable Be Brilliant sticker. So yeah, this comes with it. No extra cost for these included. Um, and then let's, yeah, exactly. Product ideas lost. It's helpful to see your ideas all in one place and then edit. If you're biting mm -hmm. up more than you can do, that's so true. That's yes. why for me too, Katie, I love the big goal breakdown and the mind mapping because I can see all my ideas spread out and break them into the little tiny steps and realize, yeah, exactly. I can maybe do 10. Maybe I don't have time for all of the 50 steps. Right, because yeah. sometimes you come up with an idea and you think, oh, well, it's not going to be that much work. But when you do what Bethany just suggested, break it down into all the tiny steps, use the big goal breakdown, you can discover, wow, that, that's a lot more than I had thought or a lot more steps. It's going to take a lot more time. So, yes. I do like the fact that since we've been able to use the planner for the entire second half of 2015, it... I mean, we have used it every day. So I feel like how Julie said um, in our blab last week, she can feel proud of her shop the way she has it now. That's Tokyo Blossom. But I feel like that's where we are now because yeah. we've used the planner for a full half year. 
And yeah. I can stand behind it 100% and be proud of it because it really has helped me. And I really find it functional and useful. And mm -hmm. I hope I hope you do too. Yeah, I, that's such a great point, Sarah. I'm, I feel the same way. Like, I think we were both pretty nervous when we launched in June, but now after using it ourselves, mm -hmm. we're like, no, like, I really feel so passionate, passionately about like, I want everybody I know to know about this planner because it's amazing. And it's so helpful. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> Um, and then Meg Cooper, which welcome. I think you might be new. The planner is gorgeous and I love that it's huge. <laughs> it is a little big, but it's manageable. But yeah, I mean, I have to say you guys like those small planners. I just, you can't plan out all this content for your business on like a little. Interpersonal thing. life. Right. Yeah, that's true. You're trying to get room for both. So yeah. Um, do you have, Angie asked, do you have a little BBM planner community where women can share ideas specifically on their planner? We don't, although in our regular Brilliant Business Mom Facebook group, which anyone is welcome to join, you'll get an invite when you're on our email list. We are always open to people sharing in that group. Yeah. But we don't have plans right now for a, for a separate for sep group. Yeah, not at this point. We'll see. Let's but thanks see. for the idea. Yeah, that was a good idea. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, like Katie, I was just thinking about how the other week Katie did pro was sharing in our Facebook group how she was at a, a PTA meeting <laughs> and she had her planner with her and somebody said to her like, well, clearly you must be really organized. <laughs> Cause they saw so her. they made her vice president. <laughs> So now she's vice president of the PTA because of her planner. <laughs> so that was pretty fun. I felt bad for her, but she said, there you go. Um, she said that she was glad to be elected to that position. I was feeling bad for her that she like, got elected to vice president. But Yeah. I'm yeah, the exactly. one over sharing about my planner in that group, Katie said. No. We, we love it. We love it. We appreciate it that you take the time to share. We really appreciate it. So. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to read this one off real quick too. Jessica Lynn at Love Lila Ann says, big is best. It goes perfectly <laughs> with my crazy bag lady. Oh, uh-oh. I know I missed it. My bag lady tote full of diapers and toys. <laughs> so true. Just as long as they're not dirty diapers to ruin your beautiful planner. Yeah. <laughs> that would be really <laughs> I'm sure somebody's, I bet some mom's planner this year is going to get a little messy. I mean, I've just jinxed somebody. <laughs> yeah. Um, really quick, I was just going to say, uh, product pricing worksheet is next. I won't go into details on that because it's a boring page, but you have to learn, you have to price your products. So, um, and then we move on to product marketing plan. Maybe Bethany, you should talk about how you use okay. marketing plan. Definitely. Okay. So at the top, we've got your product, your completion date, and when you're going to start your marketing plan. That alone is super helpful to me because I'll just keep going with the product forever and not, I like, I need a due date. I definitely need that to keep my, hold myself accountable. And then, so then your top targets for where you want to market it. And then what are you going to do? Are you going to do a giveaway review feature interview? Um, yeah. And then again, it's kind of like the guest post planner that you can keep track of when you contacted them. So you know when to reach out again. Like, for example, I can think of there's one Instagram feature account. Now, most of them got back to me really fast, but I had one that hasn't gotten back to me. So I, I need to send them that follow up and say, hey, are you are you still accepting um, products for features in December, that kind of thing. And then, of course, your feature dates. You want to be keeping track of that and um how you can be promoting that thing, things of that nature. So yeah, this is just so helpful to me. I mean, I just, I love to write down all the different places where I feel like, for example, our planner would be a great fit. And I also kind of like to balance like, well, how many giveaways are we doing? Or how many, like a sponsor posts are we doing? How many guest posts are we doing? So I can kind of see the, the balance of that and make sure not all my features are going to be giveaways or, you know, that kind of thing. So definitely want to balance that out. Janie Lane Studio wonders, does the planner come with someone to make sure I actually follow through on my plans? Yes, we've crafted mini me's of myself and Beth Ann that will be shipped along with each planner to kind of like stand on your shoulder on each side to make you get things done. 
So you, <laughs> you are covered there. Do you know what's so funny is Chris was just telling me the other day because our library here in La Jolla actually has a 3D printer and you can like use it and learn how to use it. And he was like, Beth Ann, he's like, you and Sarah need to have <laughs> tiny little like brilliant business mom superhero or like action figures. And I was like, oh, that's too funny. He's like, they'll have to have like a podcasting mic or something like that. <laughs> no, it'll be like a laundry basket or yeah. <laughs> dishes yeah. in our hands, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> our soup. Funny. Yeah. Okay, and then May Cooper, I'm confused by your comment. The print option looks like it has been corrected. Hope I didn't overstep by mentioning that. That was with the slide share on the landing page. Oh. That email I forwarded you, forwarded to you, the but maybe you didn't see it yet. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing an email on that. Okay, well, we'll address that. Okay. I'll tell you about that later. But okay. Meg was, Meg was very helpful to us. So we appreciate Okay. It. Awesome. <laughs> okay. I see the make bubble. That's too funny. Okay. Um, next, we move on to advertising. So a decision matrix on the best p places to advertise so that you're getting the best bang for your buck. And then advertising results. So if you do an advertising campaign, whether that's on a blog or maybe like a Facebook campaign, something like that, you can test, once again, test your results, see what worked and what didn't work. So that's the next section. Yeah, and I will say I'm gonna use this even for some of our Instagram features because like, let's say I pay $25 for a post. If I use a bit.ly in my profile that then links to the, a lot of them are Etsy features, so they'll, it'll link to an Etsy listing, but then I can track the sales in Etsy. I can track how many clicks came in through my bit.ly, so I can still pretty much figure out cost per click um, and then you know how many sales, what, what was the end result, so. <laughs> more <laughs> go ahead Nathan. I was gonna say Gianna said that our, our action figures have to say head out there and be brilliant <laughs> that would be hilarious like oh. pull a cord like Woody and yes. that's what we say head out there and be brilliant that would be so funny or should we say something a little meaner like get to work something like that <laughs> we could have like two versions turn off Facebook <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Um, next is our habit tracker. We've got uh, two pages of this. So um, it's kind of like the don't break a chain concept where if you are trying to start a new habit, the more you can see that you've stuck with that every day, then the further along you get, you're going to not want to break that chain. Um, so you can encourage yourself to keep going. So this could be a personal habit or a business habit. My husband isn't using this beautiful page, but he's actually on a roll with P90X for a couple of weeks now, and he refuses to skip a day, which kind of drives me absolutely crazy because <laughs> I do his exercises at weird times, but it's the don't break a chain concept. He's doing a good job. So That's awesome. Yeah, and you can, again, you can use that for so many things. Like I, it's <laughs> awesome for exercise. It's awesome for whatever it is. That Drinking you're water in. or yeah. getting up early or all yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, Who okay. business? I definitely think you can, although the, okay, so we, we talked earlier about how you'll get the, when you purchase the physical planner, you get the, the PDF of some of the planning pages automatically. So you might, some of the pages, you might want to use the, that print off some extras and use some for one business and some for another business. Although a lot of the pages, there's multiple or duplicate. So you could easily use the pages for different businesses. But good question, Jessica. Oh, and I saw that you're going to do the Money Saving Mom book club. So <clears throat> with your two businesses, reading that book al along with us. So that's fun. Awesome. Um, okay. And then Alyssa asked, Lamkin Creative, love the habit tracker. Hope that's included in the PDF bonus. Yes, it is. So you can, again, if you want to track 10 habits because you're awesome, you can, <laughs> print out, you can print out your 10 sheets and have your 10 habits going. Yeah, we're not that awesome. 
And yeah. That two habits like again. Two, yeah. That's, <laughs> That's more than much, we can handle. Yeah. Um, okay, hold on. We had a few more questions up here. Oh, yeah, Katie did pro. Are there any punches on the market that allow putting the printables into the spiral bound? Oh, oh, I see what you're saying because you want this version that's spiral bound and you're wondering if there's a special punch that lets you slide things right into it. As far as I know, there's not. That would be amazing if it is. If, there, if there's something like that, um, that'd be awesome. So if you guys see anything like that, let us know. That'd so maybe really cool. in that, so maybe in that case, getting the unpunched planner and using what's that? I keep forgetting the Circa. name of that system. Circa. Circa. Yeah. Or sometimes it's just like a disc based system. I think, oh, and Staples calls it the arc system, ARC, but I think the punches, the punch and the discs are pretty much the same. And regardless. Bethian and Bethian has links to that on the landing page. So you yeah. can see what she purchased again. for her. Yeah, I link right to it. I got mine on Amazon because our staple stores around here are just, they're kind of small, I think, just because we're in, you know, the city. Um, but you can order on Amazon or you might be able to find it at your local staples. And Angie wanted us to explain again what the bonuses for today are. The bonuses for today are... Um, Instagram planning pages and Pinterest planning pages. So everybody, regardless of when you purchase the planner, the physical planner, because we just sell the physical version, you, you'll get the bonus PDFs with the business pages, the, the non-dated pages, the pages that you might possibly need more of. You will automatically get that. The bonuses just for today are two Instagram planning pages and two Pinterest planning pages. So that's today only. And ship date for anybody new is November 15th for the physical planner will be shipped November 15th, but your bonus or, but the PDF, yeah. the PDF, get yeah, right away. Yeah. So you'll get your companion PDF that'll let you start. <laughs> It's like pretty much all the business planning pages. You'll have that today if you buy. So you can start printing those out, start planning for your business, make those Christmas sales or whatever the case is for you. And then if you purchase today, then we also included that bonus of the Instagram and Pinterest planning pages. So, yeah. yeah. So, again, you'll have those today. And then you'll just be waiting for your beautiful planner to get to you in the mail. Right in the mail. Yep. It's at the printers as we speak. Yeah. So I will be picking them up shortly. Um, financial summary is next. So you can track your income and expenses for each month and net income so that you can see how you're doing. And then we head into some of our just pages for you to, to write and fill out with notes and projects and plans and things to remember in the back. So we have My Brilliant Ideas, a plain page. Followed by My Brilliant Ideas Lined, two of those. Followed by My Brilliant Ideas. And this may be hard to see, but there's it's a graph paper for people who like to, to use graph paper. Sometimes I do. Two of those. And another blank one. Last thing in the planner is... Last page, I should say, because there's one more feature. Last page is the mileage tracker. So you can just tear this out and stick it in your car if you want or keep it in either way so that you make sure at the end of the year you're not leaving money on the table with the IRS in mileage, business miles that you've driven but have forgotten to account for. So that's the last planning page. I'm all about remembering those tax deductions, as most of you yeah. know. Yeah. And I'm, if I didn't have that sheet, I would never remember to track my miles. Sarah, you, Sarah used to like ask me at the end of the year, like, so what do you think, Beth Ann? How many miles do you travel to Pittsburgh? And I have to go back through and remember, like, how many times did I drive up to Pittsburgh when it was like solely to, so we could work on the business? And I mean, it was like crazy. But now I have a sheet just for that. Oh, Jesse says there is a punch to do yeah. the spiral on the side. Hobby Lobby has one in the confetti punch section. Hmm. 
Yeah, and somebody else was mentioning, and then Java Jenny said, we are memory keepers has the cinch. So I think she's meaning that's another punch that works. So there's the cinch confetti punch section. And then somebody else, Zutter, Jenny also said Zutter bind it all in one tool, I think. So, okay, so that's interesting. So these are all things that let you like spiral bind, bind it all machine. I'm looking at the Zutter right now. So that's really interesting. That is, okay. Yeah. So, so I mean, you'll get all of this already spiral bound. So that would be, I guess, I assume, I've never tried one of those before. So that would be yeah. adding spiral bound pages to the notebook i i think that's what that's what they're saying i think so yes. yeah i'm not sure how this yeah so are you guys saying that like katie could purchase already spiral bound and literally add more to it with these special punches or tools that seems interesting that does that'd be awesome cool yeah we need to check that out we could link to that too on our page yeah, absolutely. Oh, if you buy the plain pages, Jenny says, these allow okay. you to bind it all together to make your own notebook. So if that's how you wanted to customize your planner. So again, you'd buy our loose leaf version. Okay. The different wider. And then Lampkin said, most of the punches I'm seeing work with a different wider spiral binding. So, okay. yeah, so okay. again, you'd want to buy the loose leaf if you wanted to customize yours in that way. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Bethany, do you wanna show them the last added feature? Yes, so this was something that was also requested by several of you, a little folder pocket. So you can put your random, if you do have random papers. Oh, Julie likes it, somebody else, mm -hmm. Jesse likes it, woohoo. <laughs> so yeah, so you've got, you've got a pocket on the back for you. So I know, you know, those of you who are going to do the binder, like you would probably already have a pocket, but this way for those of you who love your spiral bound just as it is, you're good to go. You can put a few extra papers in there. So mm -hmm. we're excited Absolutely. about that. Um, and Jessica Lynn asked, I might have missed this, but are there any sections for accounting? This year we just have a monthly a financial summary page where each month you can write your revenue, expenses, and your net income. What we were finding from our survey results was that most people are using accounting programs. So the physically writing down each expense on paper wasn't as useful to people, but kind of seeing the summary of how your year is going, yeah. we thought would be helpful, so. We did actually, though, we kept it in the companion PDF mm. so that if you want, if that's really important to you to write everything down, then you can print it off and still use that. So we, yes, yeah, so we left that option open to you, but that was definitely one thing we got from our planner people told us like, hey, I'm not really using this sheet. And so, you know, in, in an effort to not make this crazy and <laughs> thick and huge, that was one that we did take out of the, the printed planner. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you'll still have you'll still have access to that. The other one we took out was the wholesale targets that was in last mm -hmm. year's planner. We took that one out, but it is also in the PDF that you will get. Correct, Bethany? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So if you're someone who's pitching to a bunch of shops, you'll still have that. But a lot of people had just said, that, you know, that wasn't their business's focus right now. So it's that page. Yeah. yeah, most of us seem to be either like retail or like bloggers. We're not really, most of us in the audience aren't wholesale focused as much. So, oh yeah, thank you, Lamkin. She said, such a good idea, including the more obscure sheets in the PDF. Thanks. And then do you want to take Jesse's question? What accounting programs? Yeah, we use QuickBooks, but that's just because that's what I was used to from work. So we use QuickBooks. They have like a $10 a month version. I, I already knew my way around it. A lot of people do use the GoDaddy bookkeeping, it seems, but I have never tried that. There's actually quite a few low-cost accounting programs out there. I think FreshBooks is one. Um, I can't think of another one. But like, so like 10 bucks a month, you should be able to find something decent for, for your accounting needs. 
Okay. Any more questions about the planner or I don't know. Anything else that we can answer? Oh, I, I know what I wanted to mention. If you are international, and we really appreciate all of our international yeah, members of our community. It is so cool that people from different parts of the world are, are chatting with us all the time. We love that. Um, because of the weird, if you're in the European Union, because of the weird VAT tax thing and the program that we use for the sales on our landing page, you're not going to be able to purchase a planner on our on our landing page. However, our planner and our other products are also available in our Etsy shop. And European Union members can purchase from there. I have to say, Etsy has Etsy is great for how easy and seamless they make things because shipping internationally is much easier with Etsy. And now they've covered the VAT tax issue. So yay, Etsy. And Bethann put the link there, but it's um, brilliantbusinessmom.etsy.com will take you to the shop. So singular, not plural. Yes, Jesse, shipping with Etsy is so great compared to other shipping that I've tried with PayPal or just using the post office website. Shipping with Etsy is a breeze. I love it. So you can always go to the Etsy shop and purchase there as well. Like if you have an Etsy gift card and yeah, you want the planner for Christmas, it's in the Etsy shop there. Yeah, so head on as, over. Well as, our, as well as our mug and our book will be there um, in a little bit as well. Which I have that right here too. And I was also going to point out that we have on our planner landing page, we also have a gift set option. I We called it the girl boss gift set. So you can do um, the planner of your choice, the our book, Time Management Mama, and then our mug, which I don't know where my Be Brilliant mug is, Sarah. I don't know if you can hold up yours. Oh, You're I always drinking. Oh, yeah, there we go. So you get all three of those for um, $65. So anyways, and then um, for the gift set, you get the bonuses. If you purchase that gift set, you will get the Instagram and Pinterest bonuses at any time. That's kind of like the special bonus for you being a super committed girl boss <laughs> or brilliant <laughs> business mom, I should say. Yeah. So they, yeah, they get access to that. Someone's bonus. saying our Etsy link isn't working here. I don't know if these links are clickable in Blab, but if they're not, maybe copy and paste or just bro brilliantbusinessmom.etsy.com should work. Yeah, let me try to. I created a bit.ly for a listing right to our planner on Etsy. Let me try this real oh, quick. Oh, she says we're missing an I in our link. Oh, whoops. Okay, try this one. This one should take you right to a planner listing. Oh, an L she maybe we're missing. It up. Oh, yeah, there we go. That link works. It'll take you right to one of our planner listings. So bit.ly okay. slash lovelyplans. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for pointing that out, Ness. Yeah. So <laughs> have the right link there. And the mugs, um, Bethann, uh, this is Jesse's question. Bethann designed this beautiful Be Brilliant, and then we had it printed on mugs. And I, yeah. we use ours all the time. So Love it. Yeah. It's so and cool. that's available in the Etsy shop individually as well. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Julie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that about wraps it up, you guys. I'm so glad you all came and hung out with us today and you all had such awesome questions. So we love being able to answer all that and just make sure you're totally clear on what the planner includes and what it's all about. So it was it was super fun hanging out with you all. Right. We want you to know what you're getting before you yeah. purchase. So if you exactly. do have if you think of a question later, don't hesitate to email us. We're more than happy to answer any questions or send us a convo in Etsy. And as always, you can find us at brilliantbusinessmoms.com and the planner at brilliantbusinessmoms.com forward slash planner. Oh, thank you, Bethany. Thank you. <laughs> and then the Etsy shop as well. Yes. And don't forget, if you want the fun bonuses, if you want just the planner, but you would really like those marketing bonuses, um, then grab your planner today. It's not it's totally not too early because of all the Pinterest planning sheets that are that are part of ours. So and okay. you're so welcome. Thank you, ladies.
Yeah, mm -hmm. and ships November 15th. So remember that. Okay. <laughs> Sarah's afraid. Everybody's going to be knocking on her door. Where's my planner? I am afraid. It's at the printers now, but you'll get the bonuses now. It's yeah, just bonuses a physical today. planner. Ships yeah. November 15th. Right. Don't be tomorrow. Okay. All right. <laughs> All, right. All right, ladies. Bye. Thanks Thank again. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Yep. <laughs> Be brilliant. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now it's your turn to add up there and that's be right. brilliant. <laughs> All right, I'm going to close you out. See ya.